joined now by Guy Rao Sr., Systems Engineer at Extra Hop. Um, Guy, our topic today is how healthcare can use network data for threat detection. So th thanks for being available. Looking forward to talking more. Yeah, thank you for taking the time today. Um, you, you obviously talk to a lot of healthcare organizations. Tell us a bit about what they're most concerned with these days. So there's a lot of interest today around healthcare data, uh, especially with all the ransomware that we've been seeing lately. Uh, there, there's user data that's important, and then there's healthcare data, which is private. And these are things that as IT teams and as healthcare organizations, our customers always need to protect because there's a level of trust that that builds with their customers and you know patients at the end of the day. Sure. Um, not to mention some fairly uh, severe legal penalties if they don't protect that data. That's right. Um, talk about some of the um, types of data that can help healthcare better protect themselves. Absolutely. So there, there's a very there's a very public study from Gartner lately coming around about how to get data in general, and it's very applicable not only to the industry as a whole, but very specifically to healthcare. And, and some of these data fields that we see are, are your typical log collectors, ways of getting information from your remote systems. There are um, you know, antivirus solutions and next gen EDR that we hear a lot about. And then there's the en enterprise space where, where extra hop and these NDR vendors really play in. Um, and it's a slightly different approach because it looks at the network traffic as opposed to like a endpoint or a log based solution. Okay. Um, um, it's it's really interesting as a dark space for where data can be added into this healthcare operational uh, information model because it's traffic that transits the network. The, the way to think about it is an attacker coming into your environment can shut off services, right? They can gain access of a machine, but they can't turn off their internal communication path. But if they can't get that data that they're after so badly, then how are they going to, they, they can't shut off those pipes. You know what I mean? I see. So is, is the focus then on the data in transit piece of, of the network? It, yeah, exactly. Right. So if you think about a client and a server or like an imaging system and the database that stores those x-rays, right, the imaging system has to take a picture and then send it to that storage location where the doctor can analyze and look at it. But as it traverses that network, it has to pass through the switching infrastructure, the routing infrastructure, and that's where ExtraHop and, and these NDR vendors are pulling this data stream from. I see. Okay. Um, recent ransomware attacks have, have made big, scary headlines. Um, it, it seems like uh, hackers have targeted not just healthcare, but also educational institutions as well. Um, what do you think can be done to mitigate this concern? Yeah, it's a scary world we live in, right? We're, we're starting to think about it more as a when as opposed to an if. Right. Obviously, everyone wants to protect their environment, but it, it's become we're seeing nation state attacks. We're, we're seeing malicious anonymous attackers. We're seeing even internal employees sometimes disgruntled, creating problems within the environment. Um, the key that I think a lot of security professionals need to focus on is how fast can you shut this attack down as soon as it gets discovered? Obviously, prevention is going to be key, but prevention is just one step of this. There has to be more into how fast can you detect a breach, how fast can you respond to a breach, and how fast can you remediate from that type of event. And those are a lot of the big things when it comes to how much data gets leaked and some of the penalties that are associated with that. It seems like a piece that's that's also in there is is lots and lots of regular user training. Is is, is that accurate? Right. Yeah, it's it's exactly right. You know, understanding our security principles, understanding our compliance rules, and understanding how we can best defend our users, not only from a user perspective, but from a hygiene perspective, teaching users that they shouldn't go to a website that doesn't have a secure authentication, or that they shouldn't upload anything to some of these open source storage locations. Like, um, but yeah. Speaking of disquieting headlines, um, the solar winds hack um, from a few weeks ago um, undermined the, the the basis for so many security products and services. Um, I, I'm not sure that we've really gotten to the bottom of just just how uh, egregious that that hack is. But talk a bit about how you can foresee the solar winds hack affecting users in healthcare. 
That that sunburst detection or that sunburst attack that we saw not too long ago, it's really scary because it goes down the route of not only can we trust our internal teams and our applications, but also do we trust our vendors? Do we trust our third party solutions? Absolutely. It's 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 a scary world, right? So there's uh, specifically when it comes to healthcare, there's an extra layer of security and an extra layer of privacy that we have to apply. And that goes back to what I said a little bit earlier about how fast can you detect this? How fast can you see this traffic changing? Can you Do you have the right data sources in your environment collecting information so that you can react as fast as you need to be able to react? What are some types of network data that, that can help during the forensics exploration as well as incident response? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, there's a lot of data today. And what, what's interesting about healthcare environments specifically is we see a lot of the same protocols, a lot of the same communication paths that we see at a lot of our other customers, whether they be retail or finance or, 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 or some other type of manufacturing. But there are some very specific protocols and some specific communications that are generally only reserved for healthcare customers. Things like HL7, things like DICOM, things like Modbus, which means that parsing traffic as it comes back and forth from these imaging systems or client environments or, or even the entertainment system within the hospital. There, these have a lot of vulnerabilities that are not only specific to the healthcare environment, but also that's where they take advantage of them the most. So, so some of the examples um, that I think would be really relevant to this audience are looking at anomalies across the environment. What's next gen network detection, which is what RevealX does, looks at understanding what's normal in the environment. Right, so looking for a suspicious trigger, looking for communication paths that are wrong, but also understanding this is the normality of the environment and this is why it differentiates from it. Okay, Th thanks for bringing up RevealX. I know this is a, a, a product you guys are excited about. Talk about how RevealX can help healthcare organizations improve both their efficiency along with their security posture. Yeah, so actually the one, one of the CIA's directors of offensive hacking said that his most feared enemy within a defense system is the invisible network solution, because it's something that you can't turn off, right? I can log in, if I get access to a Windows machine and I have the right privileges, I can turn off the antivirus, right? If I'm going into a log collection environment, I can turn off that log collector, but I can't turn off the network that allows me to retrieve that information. Going back to what we said at the beginning. So what RevealX and these NDR solutions, these next gen data collectors are doing is analyzing the traffic as it comes across the wire, extracting value in real time information that these security analysts need to have and then baselining it. So, hey, this is what's normal for your environment. And then when things spike up or spike down, you can be alerted on it as soon as it happens. Okay, so sort of holding up the invisible ink to the light to see what, what's actually on the page. Right, so if, if you and I are having a conversation and someone's listening in on the outside, if I say something that I've never said before, that triggers an event for them. And this is what NDR does, and this is what RevealX does. It takes this difference, it takes this anomaly, both from an easy to identify things like ransomware behavior,